Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how you can make your own website using this easy to use website maker called Jemmy. Jemmy is a free no-code website builder. It lets you duplicate existing website templates or those that are created by other users. You can easily navigate it and customize your personal website. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. As you open the Jemmy website, by the way, I will link this below. Here you will see some information about it. You can create your personal website, link in BIOS, an e-commerce site, or your online shop website. Above, they have here three tabs. On the templates tab, you can choose here the one you prefer. They have a variety of designs and themes that you can choose from. They also have here this showcase tab, which consists of websites created by other content creators or by other people. Like here, this is Susie Yi's website. And as you can see, she added some options. If you want to buy her book, you can just order here. The last tab is their blog tab, where it shows you some tutorials on how you can navigate and use Jemmy. Once you log in, so click on the Create Website button, and then it will ask you what type of website do you want to create. So just select from the choices, then click Next. You can also choose the font style you like, then they will suggest some templates that you can use and choose the one you prefer. The good thing here is that even though you will use the free version, but I do still suggest for you to try their pro subscription because of its features. So anyways, here even though it's free, you can customize your website URL. You can also add a name to your site. Once you set that up, Jemmy will have this short introduction about how you can use it. So this is the template I chose. So here on the side, you can see some menus or tabs that you can navigate in setting up your website. You can add some pages. They also have this analytics menu, blog, and you can also add your other domains. So for the commerce tab, it has here features that will help you in monitoring the products you added or some memberships. And if you have further questions or clarifications, you can click on the help tab and look for the answers to your questions. Going back, we will now edit our website. So the first thing we have to do is to search for a palette in colorhunt.co. So I chose this shade of brown or like this beige theme. And going back to Jemmy, by clicking on the add section button, it will show you here different content layouts or styles that you can add to your website. So I chose first this photo layout and by clicking on it, you can either choose a photo from Unsplash or upload one from your device. You can also add a link to the photo, then click on the confirm button. I will repeat that in the other images and you can also easily adjust the size. By clicking on the plus or add sign, it will present you with another set of options or designs that you can apply. They have here some text, links, or you can embed some media. Here I just continued to adjust the photo. Then by clicking on that, you can edit the text that will appear under the image or you can delete it. And by clicking on the edit section, choose the style section option. And here you can edit the theme, like the background color, you can choose a color fill. So what I did here is I pasted the color code from the color hunt, and then you can adjust it a bit and adjust its transparency. For the text styling option, you can set a text color that you like, and they have here some menus or options that you can apply in designing your website. Here, I just changed the text and they have here some more options like the text size and alignment. You can also adjust the section, move it up, down, or delete it. I added here another section and I chose this bio template. So click on the photo and edit it. I just upload one from my device. Then I edited the text and you, also you can add your name here. You can either choose this design or the text only for your bio, so it depends on you. If you want to delete the section, just click on the trash bin icon, then choose the delete option. 
I just added another section, then place this video content. Again, edit the text. And to change the video, copy the link of a video you want to show on your website. Then click the video section on Jemmy. Paste here the link to your video. Then click on the save button. I'm just adding some more stuff to my website. Again, just click on the add section or the add button to place content and then edit it with the information or like stuff you, you want to include. Here, I tried to add a photo. Then I copied the link to my YouTube channel and pasted it here on this link section of the photo so that they can easily visit my YouTube channel by just clicking on it. Next, I just decided to edit the background color of this section and then edit the text. Again, by clicking on the add button, you can place some more content. So here, I just added a text, then click confirm to save it. Below it, the template I chose has this section. This one offers you other layout designs that you can choose. And on its action tab, you can add a link to it. I just added here the additional text that will serve as a title. Adjust them and edit the alignment. Also, here you can adjust its size. I just changed the content and I will place here some of the templates of the Google Docs Notes and Microsoft Word I created. I added a title and the link to it. You can also change the background color of the text like here. I will also apply this to the other templates I included. You can also add some links. Just choose the link option, paste the link, add a title to it, then click on the switch to add an icon beside the title. They have here multiple designs. You can also choose where you want to place the icon and the text alignment. For the animation option, they have here different styles. I just choose here this pulse option, then click save. I then got this idea to screenshot my Instagram and add it to my website. Here I just save the image and on Jemmy, I added a section, then choose the photo option. Change the image, delete the title, then add a link to the photo. Here I added some more links. Also, you can easily move the content in your website to other parts or location. So I just deleted the other section I will not be using and adjusted some more stuff like the background color and etc. Also, here on Jammy, you can add some music from Spotify. I just added the link and edit the text. You can add songs of your favorite artist or if you want to show support. You can also adjust the size. And going back to the website menus, if you're in a pro subscription, you will have more access to Jamie's menus or features like in here. You can add your custom domains and also add an image and description on your website. Also, as I've mentioned earlier, they have here this e-commerce feature where you can add your product, its photo, description, price, and etc. Then click on save once you're done editing it. So this is an example, but I will just delete it as of now since I'm not gonna use it. Then here, I added some more links. The same earlier, you can just click and edit the link, title, and icon of it.
and this is how it looks like. If you want to share your website to other people, click on the share button above, then you can copy the link of your website and share it with your friends. You can also preview it once you're done editing your website and by the way, you can view this on any device, you can view it perfectly on your phone, tablet, or your laptop. And yes, this is the website I created and as you can see, you can easily navigate it and by clicking on the photos, you can visit my Instagram or YouTube. And the links I included work perfectly. Overall, I'm really happy with this website maker. It's really easy to navigate and that it has a lot of layouts that you can apply on your website. And yes, just be creative in designing your website. Also, if you want to have a copy of my website, I created a template so that you can easily add your own content. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this one. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and see you on my next video. Bye, guys.